Hello everybody, Linda Ick and the Gamer Girl here, and we're in my new game room. I know it took a long time, but hey, when you're moving, you gotta take a long time. So we're gonna show you everything in the game room, and then we'll work our way around kind of like clockwork. So over here, this was all in storage from my old game room. This game room was a little bit bigger than my old game room. So I could take everything that was in storage out of storage and put it there. So this is basically all the stuff that you guys don't really see. It is my Sailor Moon collection. I have cards and then I also have figures. Um, I have a VHS collection plus a couple of DVDs and Blu-rays. Um, I also have all my D&D stuff. I do play D&D on the side um, and I also play a couple other you know, RPGs. But um, this is all my D&D stuff. I have some 3rd edition, 5th edition. I don't play anything else. Don't shoot me. I just like those two editions. Because I started off with 3rd edition and I have 5th edition. So next is my small little Xbox collection. Uh, the reason why it's so small is because some of it's over here and some of it's over here. So let me move my chair really quick. And so right here is just regular Xbox and Xbox One. Um, the reason why it's so small is because my Xbox broke. So I sold everything and bought everything PlayStation. So I just have Unravel, I have Crimson Skies, Fortnite, Cuphead, Rare Replay, and um, tell me why I do have that on PC. I haven't played through it yet, but I have, I want to get Battletoads and play that on PC, I guess. And then we're going to move over to here. Um, here is my ColecoVision flashback. It is kind of, it's still in box. I don't play it that much because I don't really want to mess it up. Uh, just some Last of Us memorabilia, Last of Us 2, um, Animal Crossing. I do have a Neo Geo mini controller, but I just use that because it's got a USB in it. That's why I would, I would play it on PC. Next below this is all my PS4 collection. Um, I bought everything on PS4. I literally have, like, my biggest collections are Xbox 360, PS2, and PS3. Was never in my arsenal ever, so everything is either PS4 or... PS2. Right below that is my PlayStation collection, my PS2 collection, and then I do have a boxed Time Crisis 3. That's just because I wanted to get the gun. And right below that is all my PlayStation 2 collection. I do have a lot of old stuff. Um, I take stuff out and play it, so some of my stuff's downstairs, but what can you do? And then right below that, we'll kneel down for this, is my Xbox 360 collection and I also have my NES and I have one odd N64 game which I don't know why but I just do and then below that is my Atari 2600 I have my Genesis collection right next to that above that and some of it on the below is my Master System collection and then there are my Super Nintendo collection this is just all of it lumped together because this is all my cartridge base, my little bit of cartridge base up here. These are all the games that are loose for my N64. It's just this one. I, I probably will never buy an N64 ever, and we, we don't know. We'll see. But right over here is all my handhelds and my Switch. So right on top is my PSP. This is one of my biggest handheld collections, I think, because... I mean, I do have Game Gear, but that's limited, but uh, this is 3DS, right below that is a little bit more PSP because I ran out of space up here and I didn't want to mess up the box. Then there is my DS, um, and then I do have a couple, I don't want this to fall, but I have a couple of Game, Ge Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and uh, a loose Game Boy called um, Dara Mar Dr. Mario, I can't even talk right now. Dr. Mario. And underneath, right over here, is all my Game Gear stuff. It is just some loose and some boxed, nothing major. And then I'm gonna have to move my chair again. <laughs> right here is all my PC collection. It's small but mighty. Um, it is got a lot of stuff that uh, Chris Video Game Dust Sleeves had given me and a few things. Uh, I do have a couple vinyls right here. Just having a vinyl. Um, and here's all my magazines. Um, I just have some loose magazines that I've collected over the years. A uh, PlayStation book. Stuff that I got in Nintendo. Um, this is a signed autograph I got from Daniel Harris. Uh, I went to the convention and I need to get this framed. So I'm leaving it right here because I don't want to mess it up. 
Uh, another controller, I have bought another one of these because these are awesome. Even though they're wired, they do work really well. I do have a bunch of drift issues and I don't want to deal with that. So I have that. Um, up here is just the two handheld games that they had just released. I hope they release more. But uh, I have uh, Oregon Trail. I do have Carmen Sandiego. Right above that, I have my two Lindas that a uh, zombie made for me. So thank you, zombie, if you're watching. I put them up here. I couldn't figure out where else to put them. Let's leave them right over there. Boys, come here. Come here. Come on, boys. Come on. Come on. My dogs are here, so they're over here. But uh, we're going to work our way over here. Come here, Elvis. Come here. Come here, Elvis. Come here, Bubbles. Say hi to my dogs. <laughs> Elvis and Prince. Uh, they want to be in the shot. Say hi, sir. Say hi. Yeah, so this is Elvis and Prince. But um, they are laying down. But uh, right over here is all my wall memorabilia. I do have a PlayStation 2. Um, just for if I ever want to take it somewhere. I have a carrying case. I do have some miscellaneous uh, stuff over here. Like I have a Game Hunters Blu-ray. I miss those guys. I wish they would come back, but hey. Then I also have a box collection of uh, Friday the 13th. And then I have Nightmare on Elm Street. Right below this is all hodgepodge. Basically the reason why is because these are all my go-to games that I play a lot of. I took them out of my collection and I threw them on the side so I don't have to hunt for them because as you see, some of them are stacked and they are on the way of like having to pull stuff out. These ones I know I play a lot of so I just put them to the side. It is my Hitman collection, my Saints Row collection, my DTA. Below that is my um, Resident Evil next to Tony Hawk next to Crash Bandicoot. So underneath that is all the other VHS, random VHS that I have. Next to this is my Carmen Sandiego collection. I have a few Carmen Sandiego games and I got a Funko Pop from Freak. So I decided to put them all together. That way I can highlight an amazing game, amazing TV show, amazing franchise in general. But right next to that is all my book collection. I have some over there and I have some over here. But basically these are all like my books that I go to and they are minor. Right underneath that is my mini collection. I do have my PlayStation downstairs. I'm classic that I play because I like to play um, Resident Evil and I do like to play Tekken. Um, I'm trying to get that back because I had them stolen. So I'm trying to go the other route, which is get Japanese consoles. And now I'm going to do that. So hopefully it's cheaper. We'll see. But underneath there, on the very bottom, is all my Blu-ray slash DVD. Those are my movies for that one. And we'll move on over. I'll step over my dogs. And we'll go over to this side. Let me close this door so that you don't get a shadow. <laughs> but um, this is the very end of the game room. And this is basically, all of it is like a hodgepodge of my like knickknacks and stuff that I have. I have uh, all my like skateboarding stuff. I do have like all the Tony Hawks. I had collected these over the years and um, I kept them. And then I got the new Tony Hawk one. Uh, this is just something I keep on the side just to motivate me. Up top is a cup from the collector's thing over there. Um, this is all the Cuphead that I had gotten, Cuphead stuff and then some Defender. Below this is all the stuff that I've gotten over the years. This is Power Ranger stuff that I got from Edwin, and below that is my VHS collection. Um, if you ever get a VHS of Power Rangers, get Green Ranger giving you karate tips. He gives karate lessons. And right below this, on the very bottom, is all the pins and everything that I have collected over the years for is that. So that is my game room in a nutshell. Thank you for watching. If you're new, please subscribe, and as always, keep on gaming. What did you like in my game room? Any advice, anything that you would change, and as always, keep on gaming. I will leave you with this right over here, all my convention stuff, and we'll close it out with my artwork that I've gotten over the years. Linda the Gamer Girl, she's here, she's playing games. Linda the Gamer Girl, she's here, she's playing games too.